Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mund and today we will learn and solve chapter 11, exercise 11c, questions 1 to 4 of chapter 11. Chapter name is Understanding Elementary Sets of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 11c questions 1 to 4 of chapter 11. Chapter name is understanding elementary sets and topics are pair of lines, intersecting lines, parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number 2. Tell whether each statement is always sometimes or never true. Always, sometimes or never true. First bit is intersecting lines are parallel. Intersecting lines. If these two lines intersecting, these two lines are intersecting each other. Here, O. But these lines are not parallel. So, this is not true. So, this is never true. Never true. Intersecting lines are par parallel. This is never true. Now question number second bit. Intersecting lines are perpendicular. This is sometimes true. Intersecting lines are perpendicular. Now question number third bit. Perpendicular lines are intersecting. Perpendicular lines are intersecting. This is always true. This is perpendicular lines. These two lines. And this is intersecting each other at this point. So this is always true. Now question number 3. If a line L is parallel to the line M, line M is parallel to line N, what can you say about the lines L and N? L, this is L line parallel to M. And M is parallel to N. L is parallel to M and M is parallel to n. So, L will be parallel to n. L is parallel to m. m is parallel to n. This implies L is parallel to n. So, L and n are parallel to each other. Now question number 4. If the line L is not parallel to M and line M is not parallel to the line N, does it follow that, the, that L cannot be parallel to the line N? Explain why. Suppose this is L line L is not parallel to M. So this is M. L is not parallel to M. L is not parallel to M. And M is not parallel to M. M is not parallel to M. Do, uh, does it follow that the line L cannot be parallel to line N, but L is parallel to N, but L is parallel to N.
if you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubt then please write in comment section and i will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you, thank you.